Well, it seems that I've made another error in judgment. Um, I should not have watched the fly so much. I apologize for having brought you into this Frankenstein existence. You are an abomination to both your own species and mine. A human-sized cockroach definitely will not fit anywhere. And unfortunately, due to your cockroach genes, it's also very difficult to end your existence too. So there's also no relief. Yeah, you've got a gigantic cockroach head. Just to stay still for me, I'm going to see if I can just cut your head off at that point. Um, it's the only way I can think. Would you rather a more, um, rather less brutal way of going out? Okay. Open your mouth up wide for me, please. I'm just going to spray a little bit of this poisoning your mouth and then let's see maybe we can set it a little bit on fire side so okay and would you mind turning around for me please just turn around for me I'm gonna need you to use your little cockroach legs to just keep the back of your head from falling over. It'll be get a little difficult to, for me to continue cutting, but I think we could work around it a little bit. Either way, I can work around your, your comfort level. I just wanna make sure that your last three weeks on Earth aren't too aggravating, really, so just sort of stay still for me. I'm just going to book for that. side again so just kind of puncture that in and okay good let's just inspect what's going on right now okay I'm just gonna look in here real quick and see what exactly might be going on And now I'm going to be giving this a good little check mark all, all around. There we go. Okay, well, in that case, now that we have everything pretty much settled, um, I was thinking that maybe I could give you a nice little spa day. 
so that way it kind of, you know, makes it a little more bearable these last three weeks. Um, I could just sort of, okay, good, I'm just keep looking at me like this, okay? You can't really move, your head's detached from your body. Your body's gonna keep moving though, like that. It's gone, it's bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye body, bye-bye body. But your head can just stay right here. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a pampering, okay? Just a little bit of a pampering. So first things first, I'm gonna collect a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna collect a little pulps and we can begin with some of this more relaxing experience. So to kind of get the ball rolling, I'm going to be just smoothing out or starting up your lymphatic system with these bulbs. So I'm just going to roll these around your chin. Just tell me which lip gloss you prefer on your cockroach lips. Okay. So on your cockroach lips, let me see which one might best complement you or you decide because really it is just up to you right now. It is your last couple of weeks on earth. Here. Which color do you prefer? human fleshy tone, yeah, make you feel a little more normal as a decapitated human-sized cockroach. I'm just going to, I'm just going to look over here just to see. Okay. And now, I'm going to be curling up the little on your face. So just stay still for me, please. I'm just gonna go in. And I'm just gonna go in. Curl. All of these hairs on your face. You have so many hairs. I'm gonna aim for all of them. Okay, good. And now I'm going to be applying a little bit of blush on And now, just with my ring fingers, I'm going to just swipe, 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 swipe. I am hungry, I am hungry. I'm gonna probably get something to eat after this, which you care to join. Yeah, I guess it would be uncomfortable carrying around a cockroaches, a human-sized cockroach head in my you're so right, I'll bring something back for you. Okay, I'm just gonna check your heartbeat real quick. That should sort of stall more and more over time. So, take a deep breath in. You should probably die within 21 days time. Look forward. Your vitals are pretty much unchanged for now, but they will start to wither with time. 
Do you have any further questions for me? No? Okay. Good. Well, in that case, um, 